All right, here's my attempt at making a super capacitor. I don't know how super it is, but that's a, that's a water filter that I use it in my house. <clears throat> and it has a felt paper in it. After I get done using them, I tear them apart and take the paper out. For this, I cut them into squares, and then I used heavy-duty uh, aluminum foil. It wasn't quite strong enough. I need something better for my current collector. Paper towels in between and uh, distilled vinegar and then just regular table salt mixed together for the electrolyte and uh, that felt is uh, seems to work all right it's it's just paper with carbon on it I soak that in the uh, salt and vinegar solution and, uh, place down my aluminum foil collector and place a piece of felt on it and a piece of paper towel soaked with the vinegar and salt and then uh, put another piece of felt on top of that and that, I didn't like the way that was laying so Place another piece of felt on top of that. And then another piece of aluminum foil on top of it. I just need something heavier. That, that foil ended up corroding away before I got them charged up. I had to make a little jumper to keep them working. So put them together and then uh, fold the edges over and put them in a plastic bag just to keep the mess to a minimum. I made up three of these and I laid them down on the bench and wire or connected them in series. Connected one to the next and then put the third one on and So I got them, I thought that would be enough for, to light a light. And then I placed boards on them just to put some pressure on them. And just some more boards I had laying around. And I set these batteries on top of it. I picked these batteries up at an auction. They, they expired like in 2005. But I found out that uh, if I took them apart, the cells still had some voltage in them. So I've been using them for all different kinds of things, each little cell. But they're alkaline, so I couldn't get the carbon out of them. I thought I could. And then there's a, just use a regular battery charger. I don't have a bench power supply. So I pushed uh, six volts, set it on the six volt setting, and put that into the parts and it took uh, several tries I had to keep charging it and discharging it and it finally was able to build up some strength but like I said the, the aluminum corroded off so I had to replace the electrode on the negative end it seemed to eat it up first and uh, but I got them to charge up finally and after I think four charges. They, they would light the light a little bit. You can see it there just barely coming on. So I took and cycled it a couple more times and then it got a lot brighter. So there I lit my little LED. And that was a fun project. It was kind of messy and I'm not real sure how the super capacitors work or even what they are. I just like. Robert talking about him. I appreciate his knowledge. There's my light. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.